Okay, step three in our preemie reborning tutorial is the purple modeling. For this step, I'm going to use, well, it's kind of dilapidated, but it's dioxinine purple number four. I buy my paints um, through Bountiful Baby, so you can get all kinds of colors, and this is a good size. It You can use it up before it gets dried out, and um, it's a good price, too. All right, so this color um, mixed with my odorless mineral spirits, which you can't see the label because I replaced it into my squirt bottle so that it's easier to put into my jar. I'm going to place, a, I don't know, a couple tablespoons or a tablespoon worth of thinner in there and then I will dollop my paint in. I've already mixed it, but I don't know how thick it is. This is a kind of a trial by error layer. Um, so I've done this enough that I think this might be about the right color for what I'm needing. All right, and this is my sponge storage. I have a lot of my sponges that I use over and over and over and over. Amazingly enough, these sponges are years and years and years old, and I still use them for the same things today. I'll do a tutorial on how to pluck your own sponges, um, but for this step, we're going to use this pre-plucked sponge. All right, so my paint is mixed. The important thing is that you keep your paint flow in the jar I'm going to mix it up and swirl it, and then I'm going to dip from the paint at the top of the jar. You don't want to dip straight into the darkest stuff. Now we know it's the right color when we can put our paintbrush or our sponge down, and you can see a little bit of the purple models left behind. Swirl your paint before you dip each time, and don't let the paint on your brush run out. And you're not going to smear this, you're always just gentle tapping. You want it to cover the head, every single surface of the head, except for the lips. Like a puzzle piece, you don't want it to over, over flap because then it will kind of fill in your holes. And that's the look we're looking for, is that creates the depth. If you find you have a little hole, just go back and use a corner and, and touch it up. And, I always start at the back of the head because if it's not the right color you can add more paint without it building up to look crazy. It's kind of a good test spot so you don't mess up your face which is the most important part of your kit. We're going to do two models on these babies before I cook them. I try to cook them as little as possible because it ruins the structural integrity of the vinyl. So we cook them as little as possible and put as much paint layers on them as will stay put without causing the paint to rub itself off. So my trick or my theory is you can build models on top of each other because you're just putting the paint straight down on top. Um, and you can build, I've done, I don't know, five or six different models on top of itself before, before the paint starts wiping itself off. But if you move from that to the next step of putting on a, a wash layer, the washes usually wipe the models off. So you have to cook it in between those layers. I did not cook it after I did my blues. This is put straight on to the veins. I have found that when you put blues on, hardly anything will take them off except for the stripper stuff, which is this right here. This is what I use to strip my kits. It doesn't ruin the vinyl. So if this is a really expensive bottle, I think they're like 40 bucks for this size, but it lasts a long time if you don't have too many boo-boos. You can get smaller versions of it, but we make a lot of dolls and so I just keep it around and it lasts a while. All right, so the head is finished. We're gonna go through all of the pieces. Always start with your feet so that you can use the flange of your leg and your thigh area as a handle. Otherwise your kit will be bouncing around in your hands as you try to hold it by the toes and and still have all your, your parts to do. You try to get, this is cut kind of little squishy bent legs which is an amazing, I absolutely adore this kit because she curls up so sweetly. Um, but she has a really tight bend in her leg so those little tight corners are hard to get modeling right behind. But just do the best you can. And 
and you could see the little holes being left behind. This creates the depth layers that makes it look like realistic baby skin. Um, and preemies are a lot more pink, so these ones are preemie skin tones. So we're going to go in through different layers on these ones that we don't normally have to do for normal newborn kits. Newborns don't usually come quite as pink. Some of them do, but uh, on, in general they're more of a yellow color. Um, a kind of a jaundicey, nice pink, um, tan color. But these ones are a lot more pink, or they're going to be a lot more pink because they're meant to be memory babies of preemies. So this will be a little longer of a tutorial, a couple more steps than the normal um, tutorial of basic reborning, just to create the, the preemie look. Now I have three different color kits I'm working with. This one is the darkest of the colorings. And little Maya, she's a nice, beautiful, soft, peachy color. Promise by Marita Winters is very, very pale. So she's gonna take, I'm gonna do the exact same steps so that you can see what they look like side by side, but to get her to match in the pink color, I'm gonna need more layers on her. I'll do a little bit of her modeling on her head so you can see what the purple looks like on this light colored vinyl. You can see it's a lot brighter looking on her white vinyl, and that's okay because she has to warm up. It might look a little alien right now, but I'm very confident that this color will turn out to be beautiful by the time I get finished with some washes. If it was brighter than this, I'd be panicking a little bit and adding some more thinner to um, water down my paint. This baby was sculpted to represent a 22 to 20, well, maybe it says 22 to 24 week preemie. I think it says that on Marita's website. Um, so this is a, a true to scale little one that is meant to represent that size and in size and looks on all of her pieces and parts. She did a great job. All right, so I've got a, a little bit of a bubble here. So I'm gonna take a blending brush and come back to these little areas because I don't want giant thick dark marks right in the eyes. All right, so my third little one is Caleb and it's got a vinyl color right in between the two. It's not as pale as Promise, but not as dark as Maya. And it doesn't look as purple on him either. Try not to touch the paint where it's wet or you'll leave your fingerprints behind. Sometimes it gets hard with these little heads. Sometimes I stick a, a bigger paintbrush up inside the head to give myself a handle to hold on to when I'm working with them. This is a very sweet little look. I think this baby has a very realistic preemie face as well, even though he is an older kit. Um, I remember when he came out when I first started reborning back in 2013. I started reborning in 2011. So when I saw him for the first time, he was very sweet to me because I had premature babies myself. All right, again, I'm going to come back in here. And touch up some of the darker colors. All right, so this is the purple modeling layer. I am going to catch up all of these other pieces exactly like we did on Maya so that they're all to the, at the same layer, and then I'll come back in with the next model.